Stu here doing a quick video on a Colt Brawler. We just did a guide on him just yesterday actually. A full 60 guide showing you his masteries, his stats, what kind of gear I put on him. Showing you running through a lot of other stages besides the clan boss to see where he's good at. But this is just an ultra nightmare clan boss run that I just did on auto. So that's really it. That's all we're going to be showing here. There's nothing fancy. Of course, he is supported by a fantastic cast. We have we have Martyr, Badel, Rosin, Scarhide, and Altan in here. Altan is lead, so we've got it covered. Everybody is in lifesteal gear, but you will see how often he does his his poison, his his passive poison, five turn. We just saw apply just then, and then you'll get to see as well how he performs in here against the clan boss. So if you're interested at all, or you have a Colt Brawler and you watch my other video on him. I'm not going to really sit here and do anything exciting. I'm just going to kind of watch it with you. <laughs> so there isn't too much to go over. If you want to see him in full action, you want to get all the details on him, just watch that video. Really, this was just a an auto that I did fairly well on for the for the Ultra Nightmare Clan boss with his help. I still don't I'm still not convinced that he is much better than Steel Skull, Steel Skull. I just, I just feel like Steel Skull has a lot to bring to the table with his heal that removes debuffs and his AOE heal with increased defense to the team. Whereas a Cult Brawler is just more reliable. I feel on doing poisons, much more reliable with poisons, which is good. That means more damage, right? Because sometimes I get some really. The reason I say that is sometimes I get some really good battles on auto with Steel Skull. I'll get really high just like this one, even on Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss. And then sometimes I'll get some really, really terrible ones. And it is mainly not because it's not because of attack down, not landing, and we're getting wiped. It's because Steel Skull, for some reason, he gets resisted like crazy. And I've got him at like 300 accuracy for night for the for the Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss, but still he either gets resisted or doesn't try to apply it at all. Whereas our boy here, Occult Brawler. With that passive, it seems like the passive, as long as it goes off, it's pretty much going to hit most of the time. And the rest of them too. I mean, he's just really good at applying these these poisons. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> we are having an issue here. We are having some serious issues here. What the hell is going on? Alright, we are back. We are back in action. <laughs> <laughs> wow so like i said i'm not going to edit this this is just a six minute video is all it is if you're bored at work if you're bored whatever you're listening to me in the car hopefully you're not watching this in the car if you're just listening to me then this isn't going to be a video for you if you just want to see a cult brolo perform in an ultra nightmare clan boss run of over 21 million then this is it So I really don't know how to take this video and spice it up for you. I don't know. How to, I, don't, I don't know how to take this video and throw in a whole bunch of blah blah blahs to make this seem like it's a cool video when you do, when you just do the clan boss damage wise. But some people want to see the clan boss battles. Now, when I used to work all the time at an office, I would use YouTube a lot, a lot more than I do at home without a job, <laughs> which is pretty sad, right? It's pretty sad because I think a lot of people actually do watch a lot of YouTube at work if they're able to, or maybe on their breaks or lunch. But I know if you don't have a counterattack, if you don't have a counterattack for your clan boss, then you're gimped, right? There's three counterattacks in the game. Who knows if more are coming? Steel Skull should be the. Uh, we have Brood, Broad Maul in there. Broad Maul, we should have we should have Skull Crusher in there as a permanent fusion instead of a Broad Maul would be much better, I think. Give everybody a counterattack champion. Give them all Steel Skull, a Skull Crusher, I'm sorry. Because everybody needs counterattack, right? Everybody waits to get that counterattack champion. They either want the Valkyrie, they want the Martyr, or they want the, the or they'll take the skull crusher they'll be like okay i'll take the skull crusher thank you for counterattack. fire knights is much easier they don't want to use a reflect from fellhound and it's much better for the clan boss as well so we are doing it up like i said the the debuffs are really stacking now i've had a problem before where i had too many debuffs i could substitute out of this team that i have right now i could substitute bad l 
Everybody's got lifesteal on. I don't necessarily need to have Bad L on here. If I'm going to keep Bad L in the team, I, I one day need to really go over my artifacts and redo my gear, but I've just got no motivation to do my gear right now. Without a gear manager to see all 50 champions that I have for Faction Wars, the gear that they have on them, I just really don't have any want to look at my gear whatsoever and try to go and see what better gear is on other champions right now. It just makes me not want to do it at all. It makes me not want to change my gear. When you have 50 people that have gear spread out all over them, you don't even know what gear is on them, right? You don't even know what type of gear. Where's my lifesteal gear at? I have no idea. I know I've got it on a lot of champions because we need a lot of lifesteal gear for faction wars. But I am not going to go through and look at every single one of those just to try to make a better ultra team or any of that stuff. It's just too much. They really need to get... I, I hope they're working on that. I really hope they're working on a Summoner's Wars type utility for managing your gear, right? So you can go in there. You can see gear. If I want to see Lifesteal gear with Speed Substat and Crit Substat, it'll show me everybody that has that equipped. It'll show me anybody that I have that in my inventory. And then I can, I can know where to go to get it, right? And hopefully they'll do it to where we can do like in Summoner's Wars as well, where we can kind of make a fake mock-up of using the gear and see the difference and then if we want to use that or not and keep it then we can switch it over it's kind of hard for me to explain you'd, you'd have to see it in the video you'd have to see what i'm talking about with the gear so we are winding down this will not be a 10 minute video don't worry about that i'm sure this video won't get a lot of views since this is all that it is but thank you anybody who sat through this and watched this i appreciate as always i've appreciated all your support you know, I've been doing this for three months now, I think. It's been it's going on three months doing uh, YouTube. And all these subscribers over this three months, everything that you see on my YouTube is from you guys. It's 100% from you guys, from this community, and it, it's fantastic. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for being here. Thank you for making this happen. I really appreciate it. And that's it. Let's see what we got. 21.6 million on the Ultra Nightmare Clan boss, full auto. That is not bad. Of course, these vary when you do full auto. Who knows? Who knows what happens, but I am not going to do manual. I refuse to do manual as far as I am in the game. I've been in game forever. I'm not going to switch over to Ultra and be like, oh, now I got to manual everything again. It's just not going to happen. So, anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. I have a Bellower video guide coming out tonight after this one. So, you are just now put up one on on molly tankard so check that out on molly tankard i'll see you guys soon thanks